if you find yourself in the unfortunate situation where you had flared teeth and they extracted bicuspids and did the retraction, all is not lost. If you think about it logically, what's happened is when they extracted the bicuspids, they employed that technique to kind of bring the teeth back. They really did the opposite thing they should have done. What they should have done is they should have widened the upper jaw and created more room to kind of line the teeth up so the, the teeth aren't flared out. And now we have an additional problem because they shrunk the mouth by extracting the bicuspids, pulled everything back. So here's what we got to do now. We got to go back and get the maxilla expanded even more because they shrunk it. And we've got to scoot all the teeth forward that got pulled back. And I like to move all the back teeth forwards so that we can get all the teeth forward minus the bicuspid teeth. You really want to try to avoid trying to recreate the space to put the bicuspids back in there because number one, it's not really going to help you to put those implants back in there. Number two, they're going to be really expensive and it's much easier just to kind of scoot all the teeth forward, get the mouth wide enough for the tongue space. Best thing to do this with is a Maspi or Marpi aligner protocol. We're going to need a high volume of palatal expansion. We're going to need a lot of teeth movements and that's what Maspi and aligner protocols are made to do.